Hello everyone. Today let's discuss about something very important and commonly asked by parents. Which vaccine is better? Should we take the painless vaccine or should we take the government vaccine? So we must understand that these two terms commonly are used to denote two different types of the vaccine that is given for uh, children at 6, 10 and 14 weeks. It's the hexavalent vaccine. Both these vaccines cover six vaccine preventable diseases which are diphtheria, pertussis or whooping cough, tetanus, H influenza which causes uh, brain infections, ear infections and pneumonia, hepatitis B as well as injectable polio vaccine. All the six components are present in both these vaccines. Hence what is the difference between the regular vaccination which is given in the government versus the painless vaccination which is available uh, in the private hospitals. The difference is essentially in the whooping cough component. The so-called painless vaccine has something called acellular pertussis or whooping cough component whereas whole cell component pertussis is present in the other vaccine. So what is the difference? The difference is the immunogenicity of both the vaccines are the same that is the efficacy, the ability to induce immunity in kids is the same with both these vaccines. In both the cases, the immunity to whooping cough component is fairly short-lived. It does not really extend beyond the adolescence or into adulthood. So that needs to be remembered. With both these vaccines, only for the whooping cough component, the immunity is actually fairly short-lived. The difference is the safety profile. The so-called painless vaccination causes lesser incidence of allergic, serious allergic reactions, what we call anaphylactoid reactions. Even local reactions like swelling and pain are fairly lesser. The incidence of post-vaccination fever is also lesser and children um, having irritable cry or excessively crying for many hours post-vaccination is seen less often with the so-called acellular or painless vaccination. So the choice is left to the family. But remember that whatever vaccine you choose to take, it needs to be repeated consistently at 6 weeks, 10 weeks and 14 weeks which is 1 and a half, 2 and a half and 3 and a half months. Taking one type of vaccine one time and another type of vaccine second or third time does not really help the child to build up the immunological memory. So keep this in mind and the choice is definitely up to the family. Thank you.